Hi guys, so the next step is before we go into the other tools, I like to stay organized and collect all my images that I'm going to use in the document. So in the folder that I created on my desktop called Test InDesign, I'm going to double click into it, you can see the InDesign file here. It's got the little pink and black icon. And then I am going to create a new folder. So if I right click, I can do New Folder, and it's going to be an Untitled Folder. Um, for my Mac and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to type in images okay I've already collected a lot of the images in another folder they're basically images that I used in my portfolio that I showed you the PDF I am going to grab all the images I'm just gonna put them into that folder there okay and I'm just gonna get rid of that I don't need that anymore alright so now that my images are floating in there. Okay, so I didn't quite get them into the folder, so I'm just going to grab them and drag them in there. My bad. And the last one. And click and drag. Okay, so now all my images are in my images folder. Okay, so unlike Photoshop, InDesign basically is on a link system, so it's I had students who got confused with this because I do like portfolios, magazine design with my students. And so the thing is, it's not like Photoshop where the image is inside the document. Like the probably the big hurdle for my students where they don't really understand it's linked to it. So some of um, the images are here and what you're seeing is going to be a preview in Adobe InDesign. So what does that mean to you as somebody who's setting up your document for the first time? Put things, it's like, you know, the way you organize or you clean your house, you, you know, you put your keys in the same spot so you don't lose things. Okay, same thing with Adobe InDesign. Once I move an image out of this folder, and I've already used it, it, it wants to go back and relink to that. It causes problems when you're designing your InDesign document and you're like, oh, I need to use this for something else, so I move it out of that folder. Well, when you go back to the... InDesign file and you double click on it, it's going to be like that image is missing, that link is missing, and you're going to have to relink it. So that's just a warning thing that I tell my students, like, it really likes to go back to the original. Should I move anything out of it after I finished the actual design? It's going to create issues. So anyways, be aware of it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next tutorial. So that was going ahead and collecting your images and putting them into one image folder so that you know um, where you're pulling things from. This saves you a lot of time and I know a lot of times um, it seems like it's easier to have everything in these random folders like I am not good about this. this is my personal experience like if I have things and I'm just pulling them into Adobe InDesign and they are in random folders um, unless I'll move something. It always invariably happens and then I'm like, man, I don't know when I gotta search for this and all that. So anyways, learn from my mistakes, but all right, on to the next tutorial.